I'm your host for this evening, Smokey Dan. And tonight, it's, you know, it's been about a month since the last review. Got a new duck bill hat. And I uh, got a new cigar too from the uh, East India Trading Company, which I believe is a subsidiary or owned or somehow affiliated with Gurkha, as if they needed more brands. But um, this is the Red Witch uh, W. Fuerte. Um, it is a. Uh, Obviously, it's a box press. This thing is, it's actually, it's more like a Lego press than that. It's just so square. But um, it is uh, supposed to be, you know, double fuerte. Um, it's supposed to be very uh, double lajero, uh, very full body. We'll find out. Um, it has a Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper, a Dominican binder, and a um, Nicaraguan feller. It's been aged three years from the Lapa region. Um, presentation, it's got a huge ornate double band for the double fuerte. I'm guessing that that's sort of the tie in there. Um, red with a big ship on it. Um, it's an incredibly ugly wrapper. It's splotchy, it's scarred, it's veiny, a little discolored, uh, just really ugly brown wrapper, but I can forgive if it tastes good, and that's what we're going to find out. Give it a snip. There's a really big cap on this thing, too. It goes down like a good half inch or more. generally like Gurkhas. You know, they've had some duds in my opinion, but uh, I haven't tried anything from their East India Trading Company, so this will be a first for me. <laughs> oh, crap. Wow, yeah, it's first draw. This thing is all, all body. Really really full body. I can't taste anything. Just it's just boom. Mm. Touch of cream in the back palate. Very, very, very heavy on the earth. Yeah, it's, this thing has, you know, I was kind of expecting from the name that this is going to pack a punch, and it, it does. Almost too much of a punch. Size-wise, this is a Toro 5x56. From what I understand, this is the only size that it comes in, so if you want a Robusto, you're SOL. There's another flavor coming in here. It's hard to put my finger on exactly what it is. Mm. No, it isn't hard for me to put my finger on what it is. It's a little bit of cedar that's coming in in the top palate. And it's nice that that's sort of it's starting to round off. I know I'm in the first inch, but it is rounding off that uh, earthiness, um, giving it a little extra complexity. But obviously, I got a lot left to smoke, so be back in a couple of seconds on the YouTube screen with the verdict. And we're back with the verdict on this Red Witch uh, cigar from East India Trading Company. Um, first, the basics the ash is hideous. And with that, I'm going to tap it off so it doesn't get all over me. Um, the draw is excellent. The burn, not so much. I've had to touch it up more than a few times. And I have to say, I did let it like sit for like three minutes and it would go out. Um, it's also peeling pretty badly here, as you can see. Um, 
Flavor-wise, it's gotten pretty interesting. Um, that earthiness really died down and let the um, and let the woodsiness really come through about uh, about a quarter of the way in, and um, closing in on a halfway mark, it started developing some floral and fruity flavors, which really surprised me. But um, it really developed into a very complex, very good cigar. It's it's uh, the flavor profile in the last uh, last quarterish has sort of died down. It's gotten a little bit blander though, which has been a disappointment. So this has been really a cigar of ups and downs. It's still quite full bodied. It's got enough good points on it that I'm going to give it a seven and a half out of ten. Um, I really couldn't rate it higher than that just because of the flaws. However, that said, um, I paid seven dollars for this stick. Um, so let me just double check to make sure that's right. Yeah, six ninety nine. And for that kind of price for a complex full bodied cigar, you know, if you find it, um, I haven't seen it in a lot of places. You know, I think it'd probably be worth picking up, giving it a shot if you like a complex full-bodied cigar, which I know a lot of you probably do. I certainly do myself. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I've only ever seen it at one shop, but they're going to have a look for them. I wouldn't mind picking another one up myself. I'm getting a little bit of pepper, too, here in this last uh, quarter, too, which is kind of nice. Um, that said, if this is your first time on the channel, hit the subscribe button. Um, feel free to hit the uh, like or dislike button, just hit a button. Um, and in any case, keep smoking whatever you're smoking. See you around for the next review.